Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another Faith Over Fear series. As you know, the month of February is known as Black History Month. This is a time in which you spend time in school learning about contributions made to our country by African Americans, both past and present. There are lots of events that take place in your communities during this month in which you can also learn and experience a lot about our rich history. You don't have to wait until the month of February to learn about the many accomplishments African Americans have made and are making in this country. You can study and learn 365 days a year. In honor of Black History Month, we are going to focus on some of the famous African Americans and read about their lives and the contributions they have made to our country. You will experience several in individuals reading stories to you about African Americans. I hope you will find this series to be exciting, interesting, and informative. Share what you have learned by listening to these stories with your family, friends, and even your teachers. I have a question for you. How important is wearing a pair of shoes? <laughs> How would your feet feel or how comfortable would walking be if you didn't wear shoes to cover and protect your feet? As we celebrate Black History Month, I will read a story and introduce you to the man who invented a machine that made shoes quickly and cheaply. His name was Jan Ernst Metzlinger. Jane Ernst Metzlinger, he made shoes to last, born 1852, died 1889. There once was a time when most people could not buy shoes. Shoes were expensive because it took a long time to make each pair. James Ernst Link Metzlinger changed that. He invented a machine that made shoes quickly and cheaply. Jane was born September 15, 1852, in South America. His father was white and his mother was black. When he was a boy, Jan worked in his father's shop. In the shop, workers made metal tools, ornaments, and containers. Jan learned how to use the lath machine that cut and shaped the metal. During his free time, he would go down to the river and watch the ships. He would dream about sailing out to sea. At the age of 19, Jan became a seaman. He sailed on a ship to the Far East. Two years later, in 1873, the ship landed in the United States in the city of Philadelphia. There, Jan tried to find a job as a machine operator. But every machine shop he went to turned him away. Slavery had ended 10 years before Jan arrived in the United States, but many whites still did not respect blacks. They did not want to hire blacks for factory jobs. Jan was sad, but he kept looking. Finally, he was hired by a shoemaker. Jan learned to operate the McKay machine. It sewed leather together to make the soles of shoes. Jan was good at op operating the machine. He wanted to learn more about shoemaking. In 1877, Jan moved to Lynn, Massachusetts. The city was called the shoe industry capital of the world. Most of the people there worked for shoe companies. After days of looking for a job, Jan was hired at the Harney Brothers factory. Jan liked all the different machines. Some cut and sold the upper parts of the shoes. Some attached the upper parts of the shoes to the soles. Others made buttonholes. The hardest part of shoemaking was connecting the upper part of the inner sole. This step is called lasting. It had to be done by hand. The leather had to be stretched over a wooden model of a foot called a last. Then the finished shape had to be tacked into place onto the sole. There was no machine to do this important work. Jan decided he was going to invent such a machine. 
people laughed when they heard Jan was trying to make a machine that could last shoes. Other workers had tried and failed. No one can make this kind of machine, they thought. They made awful jokes about Jan. By the fall of 1880, Jan had made a model of his machine from cigar boxes. He was sure that once his model was made into a real machine, it would work. Another inventor was working on the same idea, offered Jan $50 for it. $50 was a lot of money in those days, and Jan was very poor. But he said no. Jan needed to use a forge and a lath machine to make his invention from metal. Oops. A forge is a furnace where metal is heated. Then the metal is hammered and bent into a shape, the lath machine. The Harney brothers didn't have either machine, so Jan went to work for the Beale Company. This company let him use their forge and lath. By 1882, Jan had made a model out of the scrap metal. It lasted shoes perfectly. Jan had done what others had to say it was impossible. Jan knew, however, that this, was, this machine made from scrap metal could not work for a long, long before falling apart. He would have to make a machine with new metal parts. Once again, another inventor offered to buy Jan's invention. This time, Jan was offered $1,500. Again, he said no. Two businessmen gave Jan the money he needed to make his new machine. In return, they would receive two-thirds of any money that Jan might make. The three men formed the Union Lasting Machine Company. On March 20, 1883, Jan was given a patent for the United States government for his new lasting machine. The patent is a special certificate. It gives the inventors the right to be the one and only one to make and sell an important invention. Jan's invention could last from 300 to 700 pairs in a 10-hour workday. One person doing the same work by hand could only finish 50 pairs of shoes in that time. Soon, many shoe companies wanted Jan's invention. Jan and his business partners decided, having enough money to fill the large number of orders for the lasting machine, New business partners took over Jan's company. They formed a bigger company called the Consolidated Lasting Machine Company. Jan was given a share of the company. In the years that followed, Jan's invention made many other people very rich, but he was almost forgotten. Jan had got most done without food in order to save money to build his machine. He worked long hours. His health was not good. On August 24, 1889, Jan died. He was only 36 years old. His great machine had changed the shoe industry and made shoes available to all people. In 1992, the United States government printed a special postage stamp to honor this great inventor. inventor. I hope you enjoyed hearing and learning, hearing about the story of Jan Metzlinger and learning about his invention. The next time that you put on a pair of shoes, think about this black man who invented a machine to make shoes. Also read books about other great black people who were scientists, inv inventors, educators, entertainers, athletes. There are so many of them that made important contributions to our country. Read a book about them because reading can take you places that you may never visit or introduce you to people you may never meet. So enjoy a good book and learn more about Black history. <laughs>